joining in. Manisha, what's the one commodity that you're tracking today? So now there has been so much talk about the metal stock. So I am going to talk about the metals and the underlying commodity on how the moves clearly can be in 2023. You know, we are looking into 2023 as we get into the new year with recession concerns. We're looking at COVID flare-ups yet again and Russia sanctions. The impact of that on whether or not it will be spilled over on metals, it's something that the street will watch out for. Apart from that, it is about China, which is managing COVID as of now with class B infectious disease. Earlier, it was a class A infectious disease. So we have seen markets open up because of that as well. And then the favorable domestic Chinese policies. China also has injected a lot of liquidity into the markets there. And uh, winter stocking is what is happening from many Asian and European countries and that could be supportive for metals going forward. Take a look at the fact that uh, you have seen the inventories continue to decline as well. So much so that uh, the stocks on LME as we enter into 2023 are the lowest in last 25 years. If you look at the aluminum stocks, those have declined by 72% in 2023. You have uh, uh, zinc stocks down by 90%. Zinc uh, inventories on LME actually are the lowest in last 100 years. And if you take a look at the lead inventories down at 15-year lows, copper inventories are just about at a five days of global consumption. So we are looking at a lot of support coming from these factors. And nickel, there's a lot of shortage on LME as a deliverables in the sense of numbers, and that continues to support the prices there. Metals in 2022, well, nickel is the only outperformer. There are 45% of gains, and we have seen best gains in 2000, since 2010 come in for nickel there. Not so much luck with other metals, but within the ferro space, you had iron ore prices, which are now trading at a six-month highs. And from a negative in last couple of sessions, we've seen a gain of 1.3% come in for the year. Copper, 13% down for the year. And this is the first annual drop that we've seen since 2018. Tint saw 36% of a decline. This has been the biggest annual decline since 1990 coming for the tin prices as well. Uh, uh, take a look at what uh, you have seen other metals do and the expectations going forward as well. So this is City's report suggesting that they're bearish on nickel and zinc for the next 6 to 12 months, but they're bullish when it comes to platinum, palladium, iron ore and uh, aluminium as well. So those are the metals that they are putting high on their list. Uh, bullish outlook continues in case of copper as well. We did see all-time highs of nearly $10,900 a year. And you have Goldman Sachs ex expecting new all-time highs. Bank of America is talking about $12,000. But almost everybody else expects the copper prices to trade within a range of $8,000 to $6,465. Actually, is the most bearish when coming in from BNP Paribas. So a big range again uh, looking forward in case of copper. $6,000 lower and $12,000 on the higher side there. The next and the final chart should show you on what we've done in sense of uh, prices from their 2022 highs. So almost all metals in the negative from their highs. And the biggest declines clearly coming in from copper and aluminum and zinc, where we have seen prices decline anywhere between 30 to 40 percent from 2022 highs. So the market believes that as and when the demand comes up, there's a lot of gear to go higher.